is the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday. It's the 18th of November, 2020. It's the birthday of the poet novelist Margaret Atwood, born in Ottawa in 1939, best known for her best-selling book, The Handmaid's Tale. A dystopian novel, United States has become a fundamentalist theocracy where women are forced to have children. Margaret Atwood, who said, writing is work. It's also gambling. You don't get a pension plan. Other people can help you a bit, but essentially you're on your own. Nobody is making you do this. You chose it, so don't whine. It's the birthday of the botanist Asa Gray, born in Oneida County, New York, 1810. Wrote a great manual on the botany of the northern United States, was a supporter of Charles Darwin and the theory of natural selection. And because Asa Gray was a devout Christian, his support was important to Darwin. And it's the birthday of the man who invented scientific polling. George Gallup, 1901, born Jefferson, Iowa, went to the University of Iowa, where in the early 20s, as the editor of the Daily Iowan, he conducted the first poll, took a survey to find the prettiest girl on the campus. The winner was Ophelia Smith, and George Gallup later married her. Here's a poem for today by Danusha Lamaris entitled Newtonian Nocturne. I am sitting next to him in the front seat of his pickup, looking at the stars and trying to remember the laws of motion, how a body in motion will remain in motion and a body at rest will remain at rest until or unless... And whenever one body exerts a force onto a second body, etc., etc., and so on, I can smell the frayed remainder of his cologne, feel the warmth of his knee, not quite touching mine. Moonlight lays itself along the field, and something stirs in the shadows. I can't help wondering how one body might act upon another, though I have a feeling we'll both keep minding the empty space between his right thigh, my left, our bare arms, the heavy air that separates our lips. I wish I could turn on the radio and listen to some crooner croon about what we won't say. But there's only the drone of cars passing on the main road and crickets singing in the dark grass. He rolls down the windows, and we breathe in the cool night air. Looking up at our galaxy, of milk, that wash of luminaries spilled across the sky, which, however bright they seem, are moving even now farther and farther away. A poem by Danusha Lamaris, Newtonian Nocturne, from her collection Bonfire Opera, published by University of Pittsburgh Press and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. Revisit Lake Wobegon circa 1981 through a brand new remastered three CD set of 21 of Garrison's best monologues. Available now at garrisonkeeler.com.